Here's another example of a simple derivation. Suppose we're trying to derive not A and C from the following two primary assumptions. The first one's going to be if not A, then not B and C. And the second assumption is going to be not A. Well, uh, as always, we're going to start by asking ourselves a very simple question. And the question is, does my target sentence appear as one of the components in one of my primary assumptions? So our primary assumptions are these ones here. That's a primary assumption, and that's a primary assumption. And what we're looking for is whether the sentence that I've highlighted here, not A and C, is a component either in the sentence on line 1 or the sentence on line 2, and the answer in this case is no. It doesn't appear there. So when the sentence we're trying to derive, for example in this case not A and C, is not one of the components in our assumptions, then we're going to need to use an introduction rule typically. And what we're going to need the introduction rule to do is introduce the main logical connective of this sentence. Now in this particular example, one of the interesting things is that we've already got one of the conjuncts listed as a line in our derivation. And so uh, we'll be able to arrive at our target sentence simply by making sure we have the other conjunct. So let's think of it through just a little bit more carefully and a little bit more slowly. Remember these are our primary assumptions here. And what we're trying to do is make sure that the last line in our derivation is not A and C. Okay, so what we've said so far is that we're going to have to use conjunction introduction. But to use conjunction introduction above this sentence not A and C, we have to have both the sentence not A, which we've already got here, but we also have to have the sentence C. So the very step before the one that says that we're going to write down this whole thing, not A and C, has to be that we have the sentence C on a line by itself. Because then we could use line 2 and whatever line number has the line C on it, the, the sentence C on it, to use the AND introduction rule and write down the last sentence on our derivation. Okay, so now we just ask the same question again. Does the sentence C appear anywhere as a component in our assumptions? And the answer here is yes, it does. It's right there. So now our task just becomes to eliminate all of the logical connectives in that sentence so that we can derive C. And in this particular example, what we can see is the following. If I had the sentence not B and C, then I could get C by simply using AND elimination. So if the sentence before C was not B and C, then I could simply in one step eliminate the AND and write down the C. And so now we just ask the question again, well where could I get this from? Does the sentence not B and C appear anywhere? in my assumptions, and lo and behold, yes it does right there. It's the consequent of a material conditional. And furthermore, I've already got the antecedent. So I can write down not B and C by using the conditional elimination rule. And that actually completes the derivation. So let's now do that. So we would complete the derivation by writing down, this is line number three, and line number three comes from one and two by conditional elimination. And then line number four comes from line 3 by AND elimination, and line number 5 comes from those lines 2 and 4 by conjunction introduction. And that's how you can work backwards and forwards to complete a simple derivation.